Hey guys, what's up? Your girl is back with a string of healthy recipes. We are going to start with this vegan chili, which was served with a dash of yogurt, avocados, and some rice, making the whole meal vegetarian as yogurt is not vegan. I hope these tasty recipes inspire you to eat cleaner as what we put into our bodies matter. Hey guys, welcome to Vibes by Nay. I'm Nay. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're doing something different. We're going to throw down and vibe out. Is a throw down and vibe out. Anyways, as some of us know, I am vegan. If you do not know that, then you are not following me on Instagram, which is Vibes uh, Vibes by Nay underscore. Go follow us. And I'm talking too much. So today I'm going to teach you how to cook a chili. Chilies are like stews. You eat it with rice, you eat it with potatoes, yam, plantain, whatever you want to eat it with. This is very healthy. It has more than five of your five vegetables you need in a day, which is your minimum. So we have our bell peppers, that's one, counts for me. Onions is two, kidney beans is three. We have a parsley and basil combination to replace coriander. So if you find coriander, just use that instead of the two of them, because in my opinion, is much better gives the exact flavor you need. We have avocados. Without further ado, let's get into it. Apron, please. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell like icon so you know each time I post. And let's get into cooking. So you're going to put some oil in the pan. It depends on how much onions you like. I like to cook with a lot of onions because it's quite tasty and it's healthy. Then you're going to get your onions. These are three onions. I'm going to let the oil um, get hot for a little bit. Um, fuck it. <laughs> so you want to fry this for a little bit till the onions get translucent. Okay, as we can see, the onions are a bit translucent. So you want a pinch of garlic. The thing with garlic is you're better off not cooking with it if you're going to put too much. Then you're going to put a bit of cinnamon so that it caramelizes early. It also gives you that really sweet smell. I love it. Then you're going to put some cumin in here. Sorry, I'm just eyeballing it because that's really how I cook. Sorry, not that sorry. And then you need some cayenne pepper. Woo! Much. Okay. So then you mix it, turn down the heat. You don't want this to be too much. And then what do we do? So this is when we put bell peppers in. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Bell peppers. So I put a lot of bell peppers because I love bell peppers. We are going to put some of this pepper. I don't know. You know, the pepper that is hot, and then we have the chili peppers, both the red and green. And I put a bit of ginger, because I like ginger. Um, and then we just mix it up. Oh, this smells so nice. So, I don't, I don't really cook with a lot of salt either, but for the sake of you normal folks, I'm going to put a pinch of salt in here. You want to be careful with the seasoning at this point, because when you taste it, when you put the other ingredients in. You could also compensate for whatever else you would like in your food. So I love curry, it's one of my essential spices, so I always put that in. You can use spice cubes or whatever else you would like, so any seasoning, but the basic here is cumin. You want some salt. Cinnamon is very important because it makes everything smell very sweet. And then now this is when you put in your coriander. Remember, I couldn't find coriander, so I got a um, mix of basil and parsley. Um, then you're just going to stir it in a little bit for it to wilt before you put your kidney beans and you put your tomatoes. This looks very lovely and it smells nice too. And it's healthy. Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to take our two tins of tomatoes and we're going to pour it in. We are gonna take a two tins of kidney beans. I'm going to turn it all in. And then we're gonna turn this, I was gonna say bitch, but yeah. Turn up the heat so that everything gets in. And I'll tell you, you could put some, if it's too thick, you could put some water in it. 
I don't like to put any water in it because tomatoes produces enough water for this chili for me. Yeah. All right, so now I've just mixed everything in. We're going to close this and leave it to simmer for 20 minutes so that all the seasoning, you know, marries together and whatever. And then we're going to come back, taste for seasoning. So close it and leave to simmer for 20 minutes. Whilst this cooks, I'd like to briefly bring our awareness to the NSAS movement. If you would like an in-depth video with footage from live protests, please watch my last upload, the upload right before this one. If you do not have the time, SAS is the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, a rogue unit of the Nigerian police, which is killed, assaulted, and brought pain to an uncountable number of Nigerians across the nation, and hence why they need to be stopped. Here's what I think we could do to keep this movement alive, if not for anything to honor the lives that were lost on the 20th of October, 2020 at the Lekki Tollgate massacre. May their souls continue to rest in peace. Let's continue to raise awareness via our platforms, our social media. It doesn't matter if you have a few followers, like as far as you get it out, if one new person hears about it because of you, it's well worth it. And like, let's do the reading, let's educate ourselves. And let's just try and be kinder in the things we do and be less corrupt, really, because it's all these little steps. And we need to be better for like the future to be better. Anyways, back to this chilies. Okay, it's been 20 minutes this chili is done oh my god this smells so nice i'm so hungry okay so we're going to turn down the flame and taste this to see what other seasoning needs to go in here um we don't taste food with the cooking spoon so we're going to use a tablespoon for cleanliness oh okay so this needs cinnamon as i said it gives us the smell i like then i'm going to put some bell peppers then basil next and parsley. We put this in because I don't want it to cook so much, so it's crunchy and fresh. Then, yeah, parsley, that's it. Then I'm going to put some pepper in there because I need it to be a little bit more hot. And then I need more curry. Yep. All right, now I'm going to turn this and taste it again to be sure that it is perfect. So let's taste it now. Mmm, oh Lord, this tastes so nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so this is it, our chili is done. It is time to serve it. We're going to serve it with some rice and some yogurt and some avocado and the texture and the taste is just so okay let me eat i'm getting carried away all right guys okay so this chili was served with rice a dash of yogurt and some avocados i would highly recommend the chili avocado rice yogurt combination the chili is hot the yogurt is cold the avocados is smooth it just feels like an orgasm i think <laughs> anyways did you cook this meal tell me about it in the comments tell me if you found any twists or any hacks put me on to game guys and don't forget to hit the notification button and the subscription button and keep coming back for more i love you guys don't forget what you put into your body matters